They're comfortable in this space because they've gotten so much performance experience. They, they're used to the lights, they're used to the cameras, they're used to the microphones. And so at that point they can be themselves and they can really produce some really great art. Somebody to believe. That's really all they need. They just need somebody to believe that they're better than they are. And once somebody believes, that's it. It's, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll fly. They'll literally levitate if they know that somebody believes that they can levitate. And they eventually start believing in themselves. My favorite part is that they really don't rush. So if somebody's behind, they'll, they'll, let, the, they'll let the other part of the group that already gets it go ahead and practice a little bit more. And then they'll go back, and then they'll go back to the person that needs help and they'll work with them until they get it. Or they get one of the, one of the kids that already know it to go over there and teach them while the other, while the other kids. It's about building confidence. We're, built, we're raising adults. We're not raising children. We're raising adults. And we want healthy adults. We want confident adults. We want people to understand that as people they can contribute to society in whatever way they choose. So it's not about the music. It's about the process and learning that process and being able to recover and, and be malleable and ebb and flow and bump your head and keep going and roll and you know all of the, the, the wonderful things that, that you see the greats do. Music resonates, especially with children of African descent, because music is in them. They are a, we are a rhythmic people. And because of that, these kids have found in the rhythm, they found ways to channel that into the rest of their lives, the lessons that they learned with percussion ensemble. Um, and it, it gives them something to look forward to. And giving, getting, getting a professional experience gives them something to look forward to. When I joined into um, the program with Lone Star, um, that was, uh, it's always been my charge, even when my education programs before I got with Lone Star, it was just about getting them some real world, real life experience so that it's tangible, it's real, and they feel that whatever they can do, whatever they want to do, they see that they can do it, right? So having somebody to believe, having something to focus on that brings them joy, that brings other people joy, that's the beauty of music. Learn how to be yourself. So not only to how to play the drums, but you, you, he, te he teaches you some personal lessons too. That'll help you or whatever you want to do in whatever you want to do with your life. It makes me proud. It makes me proud. And yeah, there, I've shed a few tears where they don't see it, but I've shed a few tears because I just see, I see that magic happen and I see it click. And that moment you see it click, that's the beauty. That's the beauty. That's the beautiful moment is when you see it click and they're like, oh, I got it and they come back and they tell you, I got it, and you see that they have it. The sky's the limit. At this point, I'm salivating at what it could be, right? What it could be, what it could mean for the South Dallas community um, at large, not just St. Phillips. Um, I think St. Phillips is a great hub, um, but I'm looking to reach out into the entire South Dallas community um, so that it benefits the entire South Dallas community because there are lots of kids out there with tons of talent and nobody to shape it.